how I take over this. Okay. So again, we have another activation here, and this is helping you to step into your divine feminine spiritual power. Um, <clears throat> we also have a toroidal field activation uh, with the rainbow light. This is the rainbow Taurus. This is activated in the 12 D light body activation and the threefold heart activation. So there is an alignment happening between the galactic center, the heart of humanity, and the heart of Gaia within your presence. So you can do the 12 D light body activation, but this is actually recommending um, the Metatron's cube. There is a need to uh, <clears throat> purify the higher gateways. And if you need information about the higher gateways, you can look at Ascension Mastery Class Phase 7, the higher gateways, and Metatron's cube. Okay, so those are recommended here. But you're basically going through this activation that is helping you to harmonize with the Trinity Gates and align with this ascension portal. It's a time-space portal that helps you to ground to higher frequency energies in the earth plane, okay? <clears throat> um, there is a victory here. Some of you guys have graduated into a higher level of resonance and a direct connection to source energy. So there is no more distortions in your channel of light and in the information you're channeling and the beings and energies you're channeling and your connection. Uh, there is a direct connection to the archangels and they're saying you created this through following the purity of your heart. So continue to do that. Uh, there is the celestial purification is needed here and um, Kibu Jitsu wind. So working with these two practices, so you can do the celestial purification and this will actually just help to anchor in this purity and this source connection. So you guys are there and you've connected with it, but there needs to be a little bit of clearing still, um, but you're not connecting to lower dimensional beings, energies, entities, you have that direct line with source. But to have this information that comes through, to be able to channel this energy purely through your being, there needs to be a little bit of clearing. So the Opal Quantum Healing Celestial Purification is recommended. And Kibu Jetsu Wind, okay? And this will just help you to actually clear the body so that these energies can come in, okay? So that would be a good practice for you guys. There is a little bit of fear in letting go and allowing yourself to play and enjoy life. And this is because of a, an emotional wound, probably an inner child wound. And um, it's distorting your ability to connect to um, higher frequencies and that childlike joy and wonder that people kind of lose through adulthood and they feel like they need to be rigid, and strict and always working, always doing. And this is just coming from, um, it's creating anxiety basically when you play and they're wanting you to relax and allow yourself to enjoy life more. Because that's really when we can bring in these higher frequency energies and you shouldn't feel guilty for allowing yourself to enjoy life or to play. So think about, you could always do a journal, um, soul chronicle writing and just go back through your childhood even the soul retrieval work you could do to figure out where there there was a point in time where you were disciplined for playing laughing enjoying life and it's also societal it's cultural and um something shifted within you where you felt like there was going to be negative consequences for you being happy and playful and joyous. So 
there could be a soul retrieval needed here to go back. Otherwise you could just write it out and bring it into your conscious mind to figure out where that was, what happened and how to clear it so that you can learn to enjoy life again. Uh, we are meant to enjoy life, to have fun, to play. It shouldn't be all work. And on the spiritual path, especially, it's this playful energy of dancing and illumination. And we still have the analytical mind where we have to be structured and organized and, and thinking coherently, etc. But it's a different type of dance. We can be grounded and playful. Okay, We can enjoy life and be productive. Okay, so it's that coherence that's needed here. Uh, but the really asking you guys is to move. You might maybe too much in the analytical mind because they're asking you guys to move to the higher realms. So Kuji Kiri Zai and uh, the Soundscape Meditations portals to the higher realms there. Okay, so just expanding out, remembering your celestial essence, your higher self, connecting to that and allow that to infuse into the analytical, logical, rational mind and bring in that playful, imaginative energy into the earth plane. Okay. Um, Some of you guys travel the cosmos regularly and um, <clears throat> so you're in, when you're sleeping, you could be conscious of this, you could not be, you could do multidimensional travel, you could be doing it uh, when you're sleeping so your soul expands out it could do a ton of work in five minutes and come back into the body because the time space is completely different in the higher realms. And there's some confusion here, some disappointment. Uh, there's some moving back and forth between the lower realms, the higher realms. <clears throat> and you could be feeling this as disappointment, grief, guilt, confusion. I might need to get a few more cards here. Um, oh, I see. Okay. So it's basically the consciousness of humanity right now is in turmoil while the higher spheres are very expanded. They're like just waiting for people to awaken to move into these spaces, which we're all capable of doing. And you're moving in and out of these areas and getting confused because there's this higher reality and the lower reality and there's um, kind of it's it, it feels like grief moving into the lower and then the higher so we need to learn how to harmonize these and bring the spiritual messages energies into the now moment instead of moving back and forth so it's a balancing of these and centering into the reality that both experiences exist, but we can lift the lower experiences by raising our own frequency and awareness to the higher um, and experiencing that energetically in the here and now. And they're saying to persist, there is going to be a shift here and it's destined. So continue to move forward with these higher frequency energies hopes, dreams, desires, but in a balanced way. Uh, it feels harsh, but I see victory here. And for those of you guys in the academy, you can do the celestial round table and just see where you're at. Ask your guides what information they need to give you. What can you bring back to the material realm? How can you help others? Okay. Then we have the father arc, the violet flame, in the violet ray. Some of you guys are reaching for divine union, <clears throat> and this is at the 70 level, really anchoring into God presence. 
and uh, they're saying to stand your ground on this. Don't allow lower frequency energies to pull you out of alignment there. So to work with a violet flame if you need to. Um, and there is a decision that needs to be made. Um, okay, so there's, there's two paths and you can choose uh, <clears throat> a delayed path or a path of celebration and you get to choose. The thing is, is that you are going to the same place. Um, this is destined to happen. It's in your blueprint. And um, this, this union, okay, this uh, source embodiment, God consciousness, Christ consciousness embodiment. So this is in your blueprint, destined to happen. It can happen now or it can happen later. And that's your choice, okay, depending on the purification and clarification of your field. So, um, there is some spatial clearing needed. So you could be in an environment that needs to be purified. So your energy field or your house, your apartment, the land, wherever you're living, could be a group of friends. It could be spending too much time online, social media, etc. So they're recommending to do the astral spatial cleanse in your space or just purifying your house. Okay, and really clearing all the lower vibrational energies uh, in your space because that seems to be the ticket here to really clearing this. But ultimately, you are going to be successful. The only, the only thing that's going to define it is whether you want it to move slowly or quicker. And the way to, for it to move quicker is to anchor into the galactic blueprint and make sure your space is clear. Okay including your mind, heart, and soul. And you also may want to do some clearing in just stuff, uh, going through cleansing the house, etc. Okay, then we have a, the activation of the aqua ray. There is a breakthrough here. Again, we have the threefold heart activation, an activation of a connection to the Stargates and Stargate Ascension. So this is reiterating the very first message of the Threefold Heart. So you can work with the Aqua Ray, which is part of the uh, Universal Soul Star, the resonance of the Universal Soul Star. So working with this is Aqua Light within your field, within your heart, and this will help you to align with the Stargate system. Okay, so if you haven't done or moved into the galactic healing attunement, moved into the 5D system, then this is a good pre preparation and good phase to begin working with these higher dimensional and 5D energies is the aqua ray. Okay, I uh, hope that was helpful and we will see you next time.